Hey guys, welcome back to GeoGuessr Play Along. Uh, so today's maps are going to be Africa and a diverse world. And this time we are going to play a no move, no pan, no zoom challenge in a diverse world, the first in the series. Um, but let's start with Africa, which is uh, only going to be no move. So let's get right into it. Um, right, what do we have here? Okay, so... Um, the first round, we have the Kenyan follow car, so we should be in Kenya. Um, now, where in Kenya can we be? Let's see. Um, it looks quite green. Um, I'm thinking somewhere in this region of Kenya, that's where most of the coverage is. We do have some orange soil a little bit, so I'm wondering if this could be close to the Ugandan border. Um, Orange soil doesn't necessarily mean we're very close to the border, but sometimes it is an indication, so... I'm wondering about guessing around Kisumu or Eldoret, something like that. We do have a lot of trees. How many hills do we have? It's fairly flat, it seems. So maybe, like, one of these roads? Let's try that. Okay, uh, nice. We are in first place with 4,600. I should have gone... Closer to the border there, we were near Kithale. Um, GG's, uh, so next round. Okay, so we have um, we have the rifts, um, we have Senegal poles, so we should be in Senegal. So, um, it's fairly dry, we have a few bushes. This feels uh, pretty generic to be honest. Um, so, I'm wondering about guessing I don't know, maybe near Tuba in the middle. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem super dry like like up here, but not as lush as it would be down there. So yeah, maybe I should hedge somewhere. I don't know. I really have no idea which region we could be, but um, it looks like we do have some agriculture going on, so we're probably not too far from a town. So maybe I'll guess one of these roads. I think that's a good hedge. And it was actually um, further north. Um, so yeah. Uh, well done, uh, Soviet spy, getting a, a pretty close score there. So GG's, next round. Alright, let's see. Okay, this feels like Swaziland. We have some hills. Um, we have a bus stop, we have some people, um, yeah, I mean, it looks kind of orange, we've got this orange dirt, which is common in Swaziland, and it feels Southern Africa, we do have a Gen 3 camera, so, yeah, this feels just like quite typical Swaziland landscape, we don't have any pine trees, I suppose there's a chance that we're in South Africa, near the border, um, but we're probably in Eswatini, so yeah, I think I'll guess Eswatini. Um, it seems like a kind of windy road, so where are the windy kind of roads? Maybe, maybe one of these roads somewhere. Let's try that. And we were actually further south, near the um, southern border. So again, GG's uh, Soviets by getting a very close score. Um, nice. So um, yeah. Very close in the top three so far. Okay, round four. Okay. We're in Senegal, we've got blue plates and a rift, of course, so we're in a city, so is this Dakar or is this a different city? It feels quite built up and um, quite busy. I am thinking Dakar at the moment. We could be in Thies, maybe. I don't think we're in Tuba. Do we have any uh, written clues? In case we have a city name or something. Um, I haven't found anything yet. No, oh no. Okay, I don't... No, is that a city? I don't think it is. Um, so yeah, I'm not finding anything useful. I might have missed something. So I think I'm just going to guess in Dakar. Now we're in Dakar. Um... I don't know, anywhere, anywhere around here I guess. 
it was St. Louis. Okay, interesting. Um, oh, okay, it was this part of St. Louis. This part of the city is very unique and distinctive, but the uh, east side of the river can look just more typical, more generic uh, Senegal. So, uh, yeah, also the leader Soviet spy guessing in Dakar, so I'll be interested to know if anybody got the city right there. Um, yeah, next round. Right, what do we have? We have some um, adverts here, some billboards, and a sign that we can't read, unfortunately. Now, we have some hills. This feels like Swaziland, maybe. I'm wondering if this is um, Manzini or Mbebani, however you say that. Um, yeah, and that, does that say Swaziland? I can't quite read it. I think it might do. Swaziland, yeah. So, is this Mbebani or... Manzini, they're the only really two built up towns in Eswatini, so do I go Manzini? I'm not sure, I, I'm not very good at telling apart the two towns. Um, if we could read that, that would probably help us. Does that say Manzini? We've got an I there, so maybe it's good guessing here. Or we could be in Mbabani pointing towards Manzini, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good... Okay, we were in uh, Mbabani. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, again, Soviet spy getting super close, so well done there. Um, so 22.9k. Um, pretty decent. We got all the countries correct, and we got fairly close in all of them, a bit further in Dakar. Um, but yeah, still pretty good overall. Let's see how the rest of you guys did. So, I'm in second, and well done, Soviet Spy, with 23.1, uh, so nailing it there, well done. And Ollie's very close with uh, 22.8, Mitch with 22.7, Callum with uh, 22.6, Bans with 22.5, Marianne with 22.2, Calamity with 22.1, Bani with 22.1, and Jakarta with 22, so looks very close in the top um in the top 10 and also very close beyond as well so uh yeah most of you getting um most of the countries correct i think uh did anybody get that senegal correct city um yes uh one of you so uh well done um whoever that was getting a getting a st louis correct very good um yeah, most people getting the, in Senegal. Um, Niger doesn't actually have Street View coverage. Um, Eswatini, yeah, most people getting in es es Eswatini. A uh, few guessing in Lesotho, yeah. Lesotho and Swaziland can, um, what, what, what do you call it, Eswatini, can easily be confused. Um, but yeah, overall, GG's. And let's move on to a diverse world. So this is going to be no move, no pan, no zoom, so uh, let's see what kind of round we get. Let's start. So this is an NPZ, so we, we can't move the camera at all, so uh, let's see. This feels um, Canadian. Um, possibly Alaskan, but I think this is Canada. Yeah, this doesn't feel like Alaska, so I'm wondering if this could be like... The trees make me want to say northern Saskatchewan. I mean, it could be up here near Yukon, but um, it does seem rather flat. So I'm thinking, if you have trees like this and it looks flat, it's often kind of this area of Canada, um, kind of north of the north of the prairies. There's a possibility it could be Ontario or some weird Quebec, but yeah, I think I'm going to go somewhere around here. Hmm. Maybe this road. I feel like it's going to be one of these roads north of the prairies. Uh, which one, I don't know. Um, let's see how that goes. Wow, it actually was Yukon. Interesting. Uh, well done, Jakarta, getting close there. Um, yeah, I did think about Yukon, but like I said, I thought... I didn't see any hills, really, in the background, so that was a little bit baity. Um, but yeah, GG's. And uh, looks like... Three of you got pretty good scores. Um, 
So yeah, well done. Okay, let's see. So we have a white center line, which could be Russia. I'm thinking Russia here. With these concrete roads, I've seen that kind of somewhere around here. No, does that fit the landscape? Maybe. Russia's a big and confusing country. Um, if it's not Russia, it's probably going to be Europe somewhere. It doesn't feel like Chile. Chile has a white center line, but I don't think it is. So, oh, do I just go out in the Far East somewhere? This could be completely wrong. It's quite flat, so I don't want to guess near the mountains. Um, maybe near Tomsk or something? But I'm, I'm concerned this could easily be further out west or in Ukraine or I don't know. But let's try this. Okay, not great, but um, not for Russia, not awful. Um, 2,400 could have been a lot better. Um, Jakarta also struggling. So, uh, yeah, a difficult couple of rounds to start with. Both Russia and Canada, which are very big countries and can you can you lose a lot of points guessing in the wrong region um so yeah um next round let's see okay we have some pylons um so it feels european um i'm wondering about france comes to mind with this kind of pylon um i can't quite see the houses let's have a look Mm, difficult. This could be northern Spain, Portugal as well. Um, northern Spain and Portugal can look surprisingly green. I don't really know. A little bit stumped here. I suppose this could be Italy as well. Those houses could look Italian, but it's just a bit too far away. Now, the thing that I'm that's making me not go to Italy is I'm not sure if these um, pylons are Italian. I have a feeling they're more of a French-Spanish thing. I think I'm going to go around Bilbao. It kind of hedges France and Galicia. Um, let's try that. Wow, okay, that's nice. Happy with that. Northern Spain it was. And, yeah, near Santander. So, yeah, really happy with that score. Um, Jakarta guessing in, in France. Um, not a bad guess either. So, next round, let's see. What do we have? Um, okay, America. So US or Canada? Probably the US. The kind of autumn leaves, wintry coverage, and the general trees make me want to say this is southern somewhere, like a flat southern state. So it could be like South Carolina around there. I suppose it could also be like Arkansas, maybe Texas, but I don't know. It feels a bit too leafy to be too far west. So do I guess around? I don't think it's quite Georgia. Um, I think it's too flat to be most of, well I suppose it could be this area. Um, I don't know, these US regions can be um, very hard, for me at least. Maybe I just guess like here, South Carolina, edging a little bit inland. Now it could be north as well. Oh, nice. Okay. I'll take that. It was indeed South Carolina. I got the correct state. So, yeah, very happy um, with that round. Nice. Okay. Currently in first place. Um, Jakarta guessing in Wisconsin. Yeah, that was... Um, I mean, that could have been all over, you know, all over the eastern half of America. Um, but, yeah, next round. Right. What do we have here? Okay, my question here is this Europe or is this North America? We don't we really don't have much. We have trees, we have no poles, just a road. So I have a feeling oh, is this road right wide enough to be a North American road? I don't know. I'm concerned that this is Europe though. I this curve hmm. Something, something about this just does not look European. 
This is Canada. This is definitely a um, difficult round. I'm not sure. It feels northern. It feels quite northern. I don't think it's... I think it's either northern Europe or some Canada like this. I think I'm going to go... Like, it could be Maine as well. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Let's guess here. It was... Oh, it's Finland. Okay. So I lost a lot of points on the final round, which is a shame. Uh, Jakarta getting Finland correct. Why did that feel so weird? I don't know. I'm curious to see um, how many of you guessed uh, around Finland that round. So, uh, 13886. Um, almost had the game, but messed it up just on the last round. So, uh, that was a shame. But uh, let's see how the rest of you did. Okay, yeah, that made me drop all the way to 7th place, so, uh, yeah, well done Jakarta, getting a 17.2, um, fantastic score for an MPZ, Geoholic with 16.0, and Mitch with 15.7, Sean with 14.8, Ollie with 14.7, Om with Om1234 with 14.7, myself with 13.8, Soviet Spy with 13.8, Save the Snail with 13.7, and Elegant Giraffe with 13.0, and everybody else, GG's. Um, and yeah, I am very keen to look at the last round, because that was, for me, that was tough. That lost the game, so... Yeah, um, a little bit confusing with the lines here, but... Um, it looks like a lot of you guessing Europe, some, some of you guessing in the Baltics, um, yeah. That did feel weird. For some reason, I just felt like it could be North America. Just wasn't sh wasn't sure on that. Um, yeah, really happy with that South Carolina guess. A lot of you guessing further north. Um, yeah, what other rounds did we have? Russia was tough. Wow, I'm the only person that guessed out in um, in the middle of Russia. Most of you guessing further west or in Europe. Interesting. And yeah, that Spain was was tough. Um, yeah, nice. So uh, yeah, very good games. And um, yeah, I think that new NMPZ round was was fun. So I think I'm going to probably do mostly do no move, but have a bunch of NMPZ games every now and then. So uh, yeah, tell me how how you guys like it. And uh, yeah, hope you have a good day, evening or night. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.